Following the release of the Convener of the Revolution Now protests on Moyele Shoure and the former National Security Advisor Sambo Datsuki, questions concerning the refusal to release the leader of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zazaki. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, said the case was being prosecuted by the Kaduna State Government and, as such, the federal government would not interfere. And joining us to discuss this, um, he was here earlier on, Larry Menike, political analyst. Thanks for staying with us. And much. joining us also on this issue is Kunle Ajayi, a political analyst. Thank you for joining us, Kunle. Thank you so much. All right, let's, let's get talking about this. The federal government cannot interfere. It is a case of the Kaduna State government. Your reaction to this, Kunle, let's start with you. It's highly hypocritical uh, because uh, this federal government is saying that they are going to be having national security as top priority. That's why the fact that we disagree with that blatantly. What it means is that the federal government can look on, under its nose, and a governor is perpetuating such a disobedience of the court of law. And the same government is giving credence in terms of the, the, the president of the country is the head of state, is, is, is the person who is the head of is the one that is number one chief law officer. So if the federal government cannot call the Katuna state government, you get it, to say you have to follow the rule of law. You know, it's not only the case of El Zazaki. El Zazaki yes. The same federal government to to today should ask El Rufai, the Katuna state government, to tell us where that yata is. The same thing with what's happened with Stephen Kefferson. So for us, the federal government is the chief law enforcement agency in the country and should immediately take the gauntlet of releasing Ezazaki without minding or giving credence to just... But, but uh, some people out there will argue with you that there was, there was a court order that was obeyed for El Zazaki's release for medical treatment mm -hmm. and when he went for that treatment, where he was, that he started throwing tantrums. Now, what's your reaction to that now if the federal government is saying they can't interfere because it's a Kaduna state government um, issue? But the federal government, the federal government were, were the ones responding when he was going to India. Yes. All of us knew that the federal government took responsibility of going to India to also interfere with his security. If somebody had been granted bail, yes. the bail of that person and everything should be left to the court. The for, for medical treatment. Yes, yes, yes. For medical treatment. If it is yes. for medical yes. treatment, the court of law did not say that they should also give him security treatment or security uh, 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 support. Yes. So the federal government also trampled, continue to trample on his human rights. Because as far as we are concerned, that was not a bail. The federal government only took him on a medical trip to India and did not allow him to have bail. And still kept him under arrest in India. So it, he was never granted bail. It was just a trip to India. America, you want to you would subscribe to his, to his thoughts? I think... Uh I will still go towards that direction because, you know, it's all about the insincerity of the, cent the government in the center. Because, one, it is the center when that particular pronouncement came from the state, it was the center that prescribed uh, the, the, the group. The, the group yeah. we, you know, so we, we shouldn't uh, shy away with that reality. And again, when you look at the sense of... Uh, as Azaki, what regard almost all this distinction. It was an infraction he has, you know, with the chief of army staff. And that is from the center, from the federal government also. So, uh, so many things. I, I think we, we, we have a group of people that are not uh, sincere, you know, to themselves. Uh, that is why you have such a pronouncement coming from the center. From what he said, and that is a fact, you remain the, 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 the Malami, our attorney, remains the chief law officer of the state. The president remains the commander in chief. Without the police, without the courts, without the army in Kaduna State, Erufai cannot do everything. So you cannot run a government in vacuum. You can't, you know, take, you know, the ones you want to take and start making excuses. You know, it's just a mockery you know, to the sensibility of Nigerians, that uh, all of us know where the issues came about. It was an infraction with the center, and that is the, the army chief, and so many other things. So if you are prosecuting a man in Nigeria, so you are telling me that the states is different from the center. So I don't know, I don't understand what they are saying. They are not just being sincere as far as I'm concerned, and I don't want to double into that particular side of 
you know. But, but Kunle, in your own opinion, why, why do you think the federal government cannot take this case away from the Cardinal State government? As, as they said, they don't want to interfere. The case is already in the hand of the federal government. It's just a hanky-panky. Because if you look at where they are keeping El Zazaki, he's not being kept in Cardinal State. It's, it's, it's in a facility with the, in, with the, D, with the DSS. And that's how the, so should he be released? Do you think at this point he should be released from with DSS? With immediate effect. To the in Cardinal, obedience to the, to the Cardinal State government? No, not okay. to the Cardinal State government. Yeah. He should be given his freedom. Because the High Court was the one that gave him freedom. And so there's nothing that concerns the Cardinal State government. In fact, the federal government, under the issue of national security, should call the Cardinal State government to question as to the human rights abuses so far on Ezazaki. The Shites movement have come up with several allegations. One, which has even be, uh, 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 be supported by international watchdogs groups that over a thousand Shite members have been killed. That's one of the greatest abuses of the national security mm -hmm. that we have in place in this country today. So the federal government, instead of going back to the, to, 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 to the Cardinal State Government, should, with immediate effect, call the Cardinal State Government to question on the issue of national security over the Azazaki case. Ask the, federal, federal, the Cardinal State Government to issue a public apology to Azazaki and grant him his freedom with immediate effect. That's, that's, the, see, that's the simplest way to go about it. There should not be any need for any hanky-panky by the federal government on this. It is very clear that it's the federal government that is holding on to Azazaki and that same federal government should with immediate effect release him. I mean, if the federal government said they don't want to interfere because it's a Cardinal State government issue, I mean, what, what would you say to the Cardinal State government is to expeditiously deliver judgment on this issue? I mean, have El Zazaki released from the DSS custody where it's been detained or been kept, like they say? You see, the, 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 this pronouncement to me is not bad. It's very bad for our politics. You know, because if the center claims that funds meant for the people are being diverted within the states. And now the same center is just something that has to do with the rule of law. You are claiming that the state is independent, you cannot interfere, even when that particular state government is going contrary to the constitution of the, uh, of the country, it goes to show a lot of uh, disservice to the people. You also are aware that we have the same similar issue going on across River State today in the person of Abba Jalim. Abba Jalim. Today he's being held based on common fact that he sought, you know, for some certain explanation regarding some certain 500 million, you know, that was diverted according to him by the state government and he asked for, account, you know, accountability. And uh, what we are saying is that this young man has been in jail, which we've been clamoring that the uh, government at the center need to step in. But with this pronouncement, automatically, it has done a lot of damage. One, to the mere fact that uh, it, it, it goes to show that we have a serious problem in the politics because uh, I think it's getting to a stage that the, the perception people have been having that it's all about you pat my back, I pat your back. So they are using Nigerians as a ludo, you know. Wherever you want interest, you play with that person. Because he still remember. I always say, there is something that is happening in this nation that keeps me worrying. And I said, the, the very day that there will be a pronouncement that all the prisoners in a state facility should be cut out for by the state, you will see that some of all these shenanigans going on within the state, that uh, a state government will come up with some certain uh, flimsy excuses to, you know, to, to subdue and uh, you know, subvert the, 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 the real clog of governance in their state for their own selfish reasons. We are talking about a state government that will be in place for eight years, and he goes. And what you are telling us now is that the state governor has a, the exclusive right to do whatever he likes, and that the attorney general of the federation has no say, and the commander in chief has no say. What are we talking about here? Kula, is this an indictment on our judiciary as it is beyond the politics of what's, been, what's happening to El Zazaki? Is this an indictment on our judiciary as it is? Uh, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, one, uh, uh, it's a general indictment on the whole system. It shows that there is a system that is viciously uh, 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 unstable, viciously undermined, you get it, by the ruling class. So it's, it's, it's an indictment on, on, on the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who, if you can see, does not have a firm position 
on all of this. The chief judge says anybody that is disobeying court order, you get it, should be dealt with. But on the disobedience of the court order so far, the CJ has not given any position. So it's an indictment on both the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature. It's an indictment of the whole of the rulers of Nigeria as it is today. All of them are jointly playing a joint hanky panky to disobey the law in this country today and to disobey our general clamor for a better welfare in Nigeria, for a better country with social infrastructure, for a country that will have social welfareism and will not be a country of over 100 million poor people. It's a general indictment on Nigeria, generally, what is happening today. And the federal government should be modest enough to obey the law, to go according to his own positions on the rule of law, and to release El Zazaki, openly come out. And that's Erufai er er should openly come out on, on, on that theater and tell us, where did you keep this young man? Because for me, it's a dissemination of anti-democracy. If you can say that a state governor has a right to deal with anybody, and you know, Erufai came out openly to say it, that even if you talk in, in Dubai, I can bring you down and, and suffer you in Kaduna State. So it means that we are allowing a state government, a state governor to become a tyrant. And if you look at the killing of the Shah, it's a genocide. You allow a state government to commit such a thing under this kind of democracy is a pattern. It's embarrassing. Thank you, gentlemen. So um, recently, President Mahmoud Bari asked Nigerian youth to stay in the country to build it. And we had a conversation on this issue, and many of our audience had a few thoughts to say on the matter. Here are some of the com comments. When we return, I will give you my take. And here is my take. It seems it's still a far cry from home between Governor Basaki and Adams Oshomale, as both parties have got a lot to prove to the people of Edo State. 
the power of incumbency and the might of a Shomale will eventually play out here. And in the end, I hope the people of Edo State are far better for it. As for El Zazaki, I think it's about time the federal government took over the case from the Kaduna State government and have a court of competent jurisprudence expeditiously pass its verdict. Thank you for joining us. My name is Benny Ark and it's been Plus Politics. Have a great weekend. Join us again on Plus Politics on Monday.